On this edition of Performance TV, our bike build to benefit the Fisher House Foundation is about to become ultra cool and will ensure that it continues to run at the maximum performance. But first, when it comes to wheels, we're seeing double. Welcome to another edition of Performance TV. And hey, just as we promised last week, we have something really cool to put on this Harley. Trig Trike by Bush Tech. Now, before we got started here today, I already got a chance to put some of our brackets that we have on here that will, most of these are gonna stay on the bike. Once we get this on, Keith, thanks for joining us from Bush Tech. Why do folks think about wanting to put something like this on their motorcycle? Well, we have many customers um, ranging from new, unexperienced riders up to people that has um, limitations with their knee or their hip. Sure. Yes. You know, okay, so the husband goes out, he likes to ride the bike without anything on it, but maybe when the wife gets on, maybe it makes her even feel a little more comfortable. Y yes, we have a lot of, lot of that. That's what's so unique about our kit, it can be removed and you can be back on two wheels again. And I look at the construction now, is this all one piece under here? Right yes, here? that's one continuous bend of structural steel, uh, less weld points, so it's less susceptible to breaking. And stainless steel on here too. All of our hardware is stainless steel, and everywhere it mounts to the bike, we use a rod in. Okay. It keeps it from rattling going down the road. Oh yeah, we, we don't want that. And uh, ground clearance, I mean, the, you guys have pretty much thought about everything with this. Out of all the kits on the market, we have the most clear ground clearance of anyone. 15 inch wheels and tires on, on here, why the bigger size? They're closer to the same size as the motorcycle wheel, so they're doing the same revolutions going down the road, so they're less susceptible to blowing out. So is this gonna try to, to steer the rider at all? No, all this does is assist the rider for stabilization. Oh, I like the sound of that. I'm gonna like it even better. Let's go ahead and roll it on up here. What do you say, Keith? Yeah, let's get started. This one up, stop. Okay, slide this on in. Got our bolt here, Keith. Is this like a one piece fiberglass body? Yes, they're one piece um, fiberglass body uh, with a gel coat finish. They can be customized to match the bike. For instance, this one was painted vivid black to match this bike. Nice. What about, what about lights? We can add lights. Uh, there's wheel options, like for instance, these wheels were powder coated black. Bush Tech has been around for quite some time. Aren't you guys celebrating an anniversary? Yes, this year is the 30th anniversary for two of our companies. Keith, when we go to remove the, the trig trike, pretty much all of our hardware stays on, as we pointed out earlier, except just our, our one piece here in front that we're attaching to right now. That will stay with the unit. Is that correct? That's correct. You have four bolts to detach it from the bike. Well, that makes it pretty easy. Okay, Keith. I'm going to get my rod end over here. How are you coming on your side? I've almost got mine done. Okay, so I can get this puppy lined up. Okay. Hey, Keith, let me get that exhaust on over there. And we're going to make our final adjustments here. Now, these. Here in the back, we need to torque these. I got them set to for 50. This trig track's completely designed and manufactured here in the US, correct? Correct. Actually in Jacksboro, Tennessee. that. Okay, Keith, we're about ready to take this thing out. Let's get these saddlebags back up on here. Hand it right through here. Okay. Wow, this has really turned out nice. We want to find out more. Just hop on your website because you do what? About 200 different models for this. This really turned out nice with all the customization you can do. Definitely sweet. We'll go ahead and get this on here. We'll have more coming up in just moments here on Performance TV. All right, we can get that tucked in on that side.
This edition of Performance TV, presented by ARP, is being brought to you by ARP, the world leader in fastener technology. Steel rubber, quality crafted rubber parts and weather stripping. Hurst, America's number one shifter. Rick's Tanks, fuel tanks and accessories, Texas made, Texas proud. And by Flowmaster, the exhaust technology company. This week's industry update is going to be music to our ears. <laughs> Kathy, you have an old muscle car, an old classic car, and you want to put a new sound system in it, but you don't want to cut up the dash and, and make a big hole in the dash. That's why you're restoring the car. Right. But you want the sound of new technology and a great radio? Custom Auto Sound has the answer. They do, and they have a whole different multitude of vehicles that they have radios for. This one that we have here in front of us is for a 64 and a half to 66 Mustang. We're talking, we can have iPod, we can have our USB ports, we can do all kinds of things, and everything comes with it that you need. And it, I mean, it's even labeled, so <laughs> folks like me would know exactly where everything goes to. But it, it's a whole complete kit. Right, it fits right in the spot of the of the original radio. Looks looks but yet all the modern technologies of today's radio. And uh, yeah, this is what I really like over here. Right here, today, if you, everybody's got a smartphone, you want a Bluetooth to the radio, they have an add-on kit, you plug it into the back of the radio, pair your phone with it, comes with the harness, the microphone, your phone rings, you're driving your old classic car, you want to do it hands-free, push the Bluetooth button and talk away. Wow, all of this and so much more can be found. Check out their website at custom-autosound.com. Tommy, we've been doing a whole lot to our project bike. Now we're gonna add some sound. Kicker Performance Audio and Clockworks Custom Cycle have a whole package here. Yeah, they do. And what I like about this, this small footprint amp, these speakers, wiring harness, there's no need to cut up your wiring harness or drill new mounting bracket. All fits in the factory locations. Plug and play. I mean, the small footprint amp goes in there right above the radio with a stainless steel bracket that provides. So there's no, no fans to try to cool. It's real small, superior circuitry to keep the heat down. It has a weatherproof coated circuit board, great for a motorcycle. This thing includes the instructions, all the harness, everything you need to put it on your bike. Well, and of course we have to have something in the back as well, and that's where Kiriakin and Kicker have come up with replacement saddlebag lid. You're gonna have your marine grade, water resistant, six by nine Kicker speakers, and a separate mounted three quarter inch tweeter, dependable high pass crossover, unbelievable sound. We've done a whole lot of chrome on this bike. You can get them in chrome like you see here, or in black that can be customized in any color. Man, I'll tell you what, this thing is hot. And that is this week's Industry Update. Performance TV, presented by ARP, coming to you from Borla Commerce Park. Welcome back to Performance TV, having all kinds of fun, just loading up our project bike, Tommy, and getting the oil, got it all out of there. Yeah, okay. we got the oil draining, we're ready to go. We've got a neat product for this bike this time. You know, I mean, the, when you're riding around on your bike, air-cooled, everything, but not when you're sitting in traffic, you're in parades or whatever. Hey, the guys don't realize, and ga gals, how hot their oil's actually getting, 280, 320 That's degrees. That's right, a lot of bikes don't have an oil temperature gauge, you have no idea, it's air-cooled, you're riding along. You think it's cool, but you're sitting in traffic, like you said, can get awfully hot. So why not put an oil cooler on your motorcycle to keep it cool, keep the engine cool, and, and reduce the temperature of the oil. Right here we have one from uh, Ultra Cool, Ultra Cool oil cooling system here. It's a pretty slick little deal. Comes in black, comes in chrome, match your bike. It's gonna look pretty good on this bike. Yeah, right we're here. gonna go ahead. We've been doing a lot of chrome on this one. We're gonna get the chrome <laughs> on there. The kit comes with everything that you need. Everything's pre-cut, wiring harness, even the nice little tool that we're gonna need. We can get in there and get that. I mean, that's- Yeah, it comes with the tools. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, like Thread that. locker. But it has a, a heat sensing unit right here in, in built in. You don't have to turn it on, you know, worry about when my when is my bike hot. I don't know. It's automatically does it for you. When it reaches a certain temperature, kicks the fans on, runs oil through the cooler and cools it down itself. And you'll even know when it's on because it comes with an LED light that'll be installed right in the dash. So let's get started. Yeah, let's do this. Kathy, I got the oil filter off. We're going to mount an adapter right here, so run our lines to the cooler. And our cooler's going to go right where the voltage regulator was. I removed it, and the bracket's going to go right on an existing mount here. So hand me that back plate for the uh, oil adapter. All right, first we're going to get just a little bit of thread locker in here. All right. The back plate here has alignment holes, alignment pins on it, so it'll go right on, line right up. Kind of self-explanatory. I made sure there's a little bit of lubricant on the gasket on the back so it seals. All right, there is that. I'm gonna put this nut on through here. Once I get it on, we'll torque it down to what, uh, how many pounds? 20 foot pounds. And 
first fork wrench. Set and ready to go. All right, what's next? All right, now we're gonna put on the oil adapter. All right, got a little gasket plate. We're gonna put that on. Slide this in. Got some bolts there so I can line this up. Yep. A little thread locker on them. And we're just gonna put these in. Bang and tight. tight. Yeah, get them lined up, get That's them going. The top one. There we go, fell right in the place. I get all these in, I'll torque them. Right now I'm just fingering them all in, make sure we get them all started. Yep, we're gonna do this in a star pattern. Make sure that's flat and sealed. Yep. I'll torque these to six pounds in a star pattern, that way we got a nice even. Okay, I think we got the oil adapter on. Now let's put our mounting bracket on for okay. the uh, cooler. Which uses the same bolts to mount as the voltage regulator. Slide that over like that, put our regulator back in, and plug it back in, hold it back up. Tighten that side up good. All right. Now we're ready to put the cooler on. Yeah, slide the cooler in there and I'll put a bolt in on this side and you put it on that side. There's yours. Now we're only going to do these hand tight because we'll have to come back and do some adjustments later. Now we need to put the lines on and run them up to the oil adapter. Got our lines run, Kathy. We'll tighten them up. Good thing they give us this little tool in the kit here because it's pretty tight inside there. Yeah, definitely handy to have that. All right. Lines are all tight. Okay, Tommy, let's get our wiring harness around here. All right. Get us started. Let's pull that on through for right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to connect our two female ends, spade ends down here. This side, this is going to connect to the fan. That side. You're all set. Tuck oh, I got one more. Right I'll go ahead and plug in the fans to the terminal. All right, and then we'll route the wires down here, nice and neat. Now, we're going to run this up underneath the fairing and uh, plug into the power source upstairs. It comes with all zip ties, so you run the wire and just zip tie it all in place. Now, the kit does come with the LED light, Tommy, like we mentioned earlier, but it does have directions and options if you want to bypass that and not use the LED light. So you can do one way or the other. All right, now let's run the wiring up here and plug it in. We're about ready to go. Okay. Kathy, I'll put the cover on, finish the final install down here. You want to reinstall that oil filter? Yep, we're going to spin this on. 
going to make this bike run so much cooler, especially in the summer. If you can find out more, you can check out the website there at the bottom of the screen for ultra cool oil cooling systems. This thing looks pretty nice, too. Hey, we'll have more when we come back next here on Performance TV. This edition of Performance TV, presented by ARP, is being brought to you by Race Gas. Get more out of your engine. Ride Right Wheels, made with originality and pride right here in the USA. Z-Max, tested, trusted performance. Blade Boot, the ultimate in wiper blade protection. And by Kicker, living loud. Welcome back to Performance TV. Tommy, we are all done putting all of our stuff on our project bike back here, except for one thing, and that's where we brought in George Elliott with Z-Max. George, we've, we've got to top the bike off. We've got to make it right, and that's why we want to put some Z-Max in. It's a good idea because that's going to keep it fresh, keep the carbon from building up in it. It's going to keep the cylinder combustion chamber at peak performance. They're going to be happy with this treatment. Right, it's going to look good and it's going to run good, too. It's going to look, too. But first, I want to just show you a little bit why Z-Max works so good. I got a little demonstration here, this hot plate with this uh, piece of uh, metal on it, and this is to simulate an engine, cylinder walls and things like that. It's about the same temperature. And I'm going to drop one drop of Z-Max in there, and when we come back, you're going to see how it's soaked in. All right. Okay. All right. We'll just give that a little time, and that'll just show you what an engine... Yeah, as, as, as the engine runs, and, and when you put Z-Max in your vehicle... In and, and when it's soaking in, it prevents the carbon from sticking. It, it, it's hard for carbon to stick on something that's got a lot of lubricity to it, so that's the real secret to it. Well, you, you know where Z-Max pretty much got it, its start, right? No. The engines that look <laughs> a, lot, a lot like well, actually, what's in this, this motorcycle. From, uh, air-cooled engines, it's a... Uh, Avblend is the sister product to Z-Max Microlubricant, and Avblend is FAA certified to be used in any piston aircraft engine. And one of the big benefits in the aircraft engines is not only keeping the carbon down, but it keeps the, the, cylinder, the uh, cylinder cooler, and on climb-out power, when the cylinders get the hottest, it runs about 20 degrees cooler, and that saves an engine a lot. Yeah, and the motorcycles, air-cooled. Air-cooled, Perfect. Yeah. So, you know, it's not just vehicle-specific. We can put it in motorcycles, airplanes, as you're saying, everything. It just, any any piston engine, Z-Max or Alplan, works. Well, as we've seen, we've, we've put it in cars and trucks, whether it would be diesel or gas or, or whatever. That's right. Yeah. It works really good with the diesel fuels. We tested, you know, a while back here with you guys. And uh, because of the low sulfur, you know, it, it helps the lubrication of the fuel pumps. So and this is this is a kit that's basically for like an automobile or whatever. So we're not going to have to use all of this in our, our bike back here. How much should we tell uh, Tommy to put in? Uh, for the fuel, you'll put in two ounces per gallon of per gas. Gallon. And this is about a three gallon tank. So you'll put in just a little over half the, half the bottle. The, the rest of it can go in the crankcase. And the nice thing when it goes in the crankcase, again, it works with any oil. And if you happen to have a motorcycle with wet clutch, don't worry about it. It That's works what I was fine. That's right. Yep. Yep. Good. Nice to hear All that. All right. Well, I'm going to grab this bottle, go throw some in our bike here, and uh, you guys George. check out this experiment. Yeah. George, what, what will you have here? Well, a lot of these new cars have capless uh, uh, fuel filler pipes. Okay. Oh, and sure. And this allows the bottle to go. Uh, you put this on top of the bottle, and this allows it to go in that capless fuel filter without, or fuel uh, filler pipe without any spill. That's coming in the kits now. It's coming in the kits. Hey, George, how's the experiment coming there? Wow, look at that. It's like yeah, gone. Actually, it's so, so totally you can even see it's gone over the sides. Uh, no, what cause it, causes it to be able to soak in like that? Well, when the Z-Max uh, goes through the reformation process, it gets a molecule to where it's 86 times smaller than an oil molecule. And that's how it goes underneath an oil molecule and goes in and does its work deep into the metal. Wow, it's absolutely amazing. And, and just like this bike has turned out absolutely amazing, and it's all been going for a great cause with all of the items that we've added, we'd like to bring in the representative from the Fisher House, Captain Gone. I'd like to thank you for joining us here on Performance TV. Thanks, Kathy. It's great to be here. Great. Hi, George. 
Tell us a little bit about Fisher House and what the project is all about. Well, Fisher House Foundation is best known for our network of over 60 houses, comfort homes, that are built right next to major VA and military medical centers where the families of patients can stay for free. Wow. Uh, they're beautiful homes. Everybody has a, uh, their own bedroom, fully furnished, and they share a common dining room, uh, living room, kitchen, laundry that's all beautifully made out and they can be there. We believe that family's love is the best medicine so having that family by your side, uh, be it a military service member or their spouse or their child, uh, if they're wounded or injured or ill or at the VA medical centers being able to take care of our veterans. Wow, well, Tommy, we're really looking forward to what this Absolutely. bike is, is going to bring in for a great project like that. We want to thank, of course, all the folks that you see here on your screen for donating all the different products on this bike. And George, did you say something about there's something else Absolutely. special on this well, bike? We want to make sure that whoever gets this bike is able to maintain it for a full year. And so we're providing a full year supply of ZMAX to the awesome. owner of the That's the fantastic. Bike. We're happy to be doing this for our soldiers and all our service people. That's great. You know, Absolutely fantastic. Tommy, what about that Garmin up there that I we've mean, also been able to add to the bike? New Zumo Garmin added to it, new Mustang seat, the tripper seat. Everybody's donated to this thing. You know, and a lot of the things that you've already seen us put on from our friends at Kiriak, and they even sent more that we have added to this bike. It is just absolutely fantastic. And where can we see this on display? You, you can get this bike, go look at it. You can buy it, Black Wolf Harley, Bristol, Virginia. There you go. Tommy, that, this is all that we have time for for this season. We've got some drag races to go win. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. But we will be, be back again next fall. You can check out masterstv.com for all of our shows and you can follow us on Facebook. See you next fall. I want this bike. <laughs> Let's just do that again. <laughs> <laughs> Got to give him something to giggle about. Sorry. Nailed right. it finally. <laughs>